Today, I will be giving a tutorial on the new PAX S920 Mobile Option Credit Card Terminal, which can be used over Wi-Fi or cellular data using AT&T or Verizon SIM cards. The PAX S920 can be used as a retail or restaurant terminal. In this video, I'll be covering the retail side of things. I will start by going over completing a sale. To process a credit card sale, you will first select Credit from the touchscreen menu, then select Sale. It is going to ask you for an amount, and we are going to use one cent. Then, press the green button. It will initialize the payment and then ask you to insert, tap, or swipe the card. The transaction was approved. The receipt is printed. Then, it will print your second copy, and the sale has been completed. Now, I will go over to how to process a return. Start by selecting Credit on the touchscreen, then select the Return option. Enter the amount of the return and press the green Enter button. You will be prompted to swipe, tap, or insert. Once again, we will swipe. The terminal will process the return and the payment will have been refunded. Before showing you how to void a payment, I just want to remind you that if you want to do a void, it has to be done during the same day before the terminal has batched out. So, once again, you're going to select Credit from the home screen, then select V Sale, which stands for Void Sale. You will have to enter the transaction number, which can be found on the credit card receipt. Enter the transaction number using the keypad, and it will find the sale in question. Double check that the information matches and press the green Enter key, and the void will be processed. When it comes to batching out your terminal for the day, you may be on auto batch, which means your terminal will batch out automatically at the same time every night. However, if you would like to manually batch out, start by pressing the function button on the bottom left hand corner of the terminal's keypad. Tap the batch option on the touchscreen, then tap batch close and the S920 will print your batch receipt. To dive into reporting, once again, start by pressing the function key on the bottom left hand corner of the keypad. Then tap the report option on the touchscreen. Then you are required to enter the password. The default password is today's date, regardless of the day. This will follow the two digit month, two digit day, four digit year format. Once you've entered the password, press the green enter button and the S920 will print your report, including all the transactions from today's batch. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like more information on point of sale hardware or to work with our POS specialists to find the right solution for your business, please call at 1-800-518-5020 or email sales at mpipos.com. Thank you for watching.